Hey everybody, uh, Eric here. Uh, wanted to do a, another quick video. I've been seeing, uh, I guess on the Discord channels and things like that, I've been seeing a lot of requests and other people putting up information about how to do pixel art. This is something I did a little while ago uh, and there are a few tools that make this super easy um, that I'm gonna share with you that will hopefully make this very easy for you to do and get some awesome, either whether you're doing like sprites for a game or uh, just pixel art in general. Uh, I'm gonna share those with you now and uh, hopefully it improves what you're doing and uh, it becomes something useful for you. So uh, first thing I wanna go through here is uh, in Stable Diffusion there are two, three very specific things that I, that I use. And I'm gonna start with um, uh, the extensions. So there's two extensions that I use if I want to do uh, pixel art or creating like individual pixelized whatever. So uh, the first one is the Stable Diffusion Web UI pixelization. Okay. Um, this is, and I go over here, uh, so the web page uh, for this um, is right here. So this is the Git, the, the Git repository for it. Uh, but it is something, I, I don't remember, I think this is something you have to install with the URL. I mean, it's pretty easy. I mean, you literally just grab the URL for this, come back here and you go install from URL, paste it in here and install, okay? Um, what it does is it puts a, uh, uh, a field down here um, where it says enable pixelization. Uh, gives you a couple of options like pixel size, which is cool. Um, keep resolution, which actually comes in very handy in in refining that pixelization. Um, and then the other extension is the remove background or AB. I think it's ABG in the extensions. Uh, so if I come over here, it says ABG extension, and uh, it's this one right here. So it, again, another Git repository. Um, but this one I think is available if you just go to your available extensions, load from it, and it should pull up the uh, extension here. You can just install it from here, okay? Um, that adds, again, in the extras tab, uh, a, a field here where you can uh, you select the, how you want it to remove the background. I'll show you here. I'm gonna go walk through a couple of examples of how this works. Um, so, there was somebody in the GitHub, or not, sorry, not GitHub, in the uh, Discord channel for Stable Diffusion that was throwing up some pixel art. In comparison, comparing with DALI 2 and Stable Diffusion on rendering, like, I guess some, some trees, okay? Some of you may have seen that. Um, and so I, I did a test earlier today, and, and I'm just gonna do a couple here. The, what he showed was that DALI 2 was doing better at, at pixelization than stable diffusion because the stable diffusion results were very symmetrical and not very good they were very grainy they didn't they looked honestly they looked horrible i i, I don't know i don't know how else to describe it obviously this the dally 2 ones look great um but let me show you state how to do it how to really do it in stable diffusion so we're going to do the same thing we're going to do some trees uh we'll start with um uh we'll just say oak tree uh, he added roots on his, which I thought was kind of cool with roots. Okay, so now here's the third thing I'm going to show you. Uh, I have a particular style I picked up from somewhere. I don't remember where, um, and I thought it was amazing. This, this I, I call it a style. It's just an addition to a prompt, and I'm going to show you that prompt here. You're going to want this because this makes a world of difference if you're making... Uh, very stylized icons, uh, logo art, that kind of thing. This this is amazing. So I'm gonna put this in here. So outside of that, what it does, it adds this on. Icon painting with a black background, casual game style, flat shading, minimalistic. A lot of you may have already do this. So I'm, I'm not saying that it's anything super unique, but this does some pretty amazing stuff. We're also gonna do a, a uh, our uh, negative prompt. I'm also going to add the lighting in, okay? You know, I'm also going to add in the uh, nature scene here. It has some particular things regarding uh, uh, vegetation, that kind of thing. So, 
We're going to do an oak tree with roots, and uh, I'm going to do four of these. We're going to leave it square because we're, we're trying to generate pixel art here for, like, say, a, a sprite or something for a game. That's kind of what I saw with what he was doing, so we're going to generate that. As you can see, it's generating some decent trees with some roots. Very centered. Um, doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily symmetrical. This one looks symmetrical, but um, these other ones definitely have some variation from side to side. Okay, here we go. So this one looks amazing. And let's say we want to turn that into some kind of pixel art. Okay. I'm going to show you some other stuff, like how to do characters and, and that kind of thing too. But uh, let's send this over. Uh, we can send it as is. It's a 768 by 768 uh, uh, graphic. So we're going to send this over to extras. Okay, And I'm not going to scale this up at all right now. I, I'm not going to mess with that. All I'm going to do down here is enable pixelization, keep resolution, and then we're going to increase the pixel size up to, let's say, 8. Okay. Um, and I'm also going, so you, you can see how the background is kind of a off green background. It's not true black. So um, the graphic itself looks very highlighted. It's very well defined. So this should work pretty well. So we're going to, on the automatic background or the re remove background, we're going to select U2Net and then hit generate. As you can see, it created a very nice uh, pixel size. I would actually reduce the pixel size on this, um, but if you upscale the image, you can create a lot more detail on this as well. So let's reduce the pixel size on that down to five. Ooh, that looks really good. See how it it, it does a really masterful job of of at just basically doing the digitization, you know, the pixelization and the gradients. Uh, that's absolutely something. You notice how, and the background remover did an awesome job. So you could take this into uh, um, another program like Photoshop or whatever and actually change it into a transparent background pretty easily now that it's flattened the background into a, a flat black. Um, do another one here. Let's grab, uh, let's see here. That one's not bad. It's interesting how it adds this shading, like there's a light above it. I may remove the lighting negative prompt, but this one's really good. Um, bring that up. Uh, because of the flat shading that it does, it almost pixelizes it itself, but this is going to translate really well into the pixelization. So we're going to send that over to extras again. Leave all the settings the same. Okay. Hit generate. and we get a gorgeous piece of almost 8-bit pixel art. That was a really good job on it. Now, this is for individual icons. Um, like, you know, you, we could do a lot of other things besides trees. Um, we could do a, uh, a futuristic robot portrait. We'll see what that does. Let's give that uh, get a couple of uh, images up from that because there's a lot of old games um, that like my I have a brother is who actually does box art for Atari still like there's a huge following for Atari Jaguar and and uh, people still make games for it and so they want that old original like pixel art for their box art and he does such a good job with it and. Honestly, this would help him do that. He's kind of against AI art. It's an interesting subject me and him get on sometimes. So we could take any one of these, honestly. Let's uh, let's grab that one, send it over to Extras, and do the same thing. We'll just hit Generate. There you go. Beautiful. And you know, if you want it even more pixelated, just turn that scale up. Totally use that as a as a icon for something. Very cool. Let's grab one more. Like this, what well, this one here is very uh, 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 symmetrical. Um, let's go ahead and send that over, and we're going to lower the pixelization down just a little bit. Get something that looks like it's from a game. 
there's your pixelization, remove the background, you could cut that out, put a transparency on it, use it as an icon in Windows for a custom game or something, I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's really super fun to be able to do that. Um, Oh, let me think, was there something else? Oh yeah, doing scenes. So uh, something that, that I did do this on is, uh, let's get rid of this here. And what I wanted to do, I actually did some uh, artwork where it was just a scene, like um, uh, let's do a futuristic cyberpunk um, side scroll style um, bar and grill <laughs> on a city street. Uh, you know, I don't know if this is going to give me the actual side scroll view, but we're going to get rid of this, add in uh, architecture and buildings, uh, leave everything else the same, and we're going to widen this up a little bit, uh, go up to 1024 here. So we can get a, a little bit more of a, a wide view. Yeah, it's not quite what I was thinking. But I actually had this idea that we I, I might do like a um, some sort of a cyberpunk game in the style of uh, Space Quest or something like that. And so you could render out scenes like this um, and have the graphic all ready, you know, uh, and, and just poured it in so you create these cool uh, retro style 8-bit games so like if we took this one right here send it over to extras here and we'll uh, uh, do the same thing we're just gonna uh, I think we'll leave the pixelization we don't need to remove the background so I'm gonna change that to none and hit generate and, and there you go I think that's a little too much pixelization I can <laughs> drop that down to five, we're looking for something that people can recognize. So you, there you go. You know, you get something that looks like it was part of an old style game. Um, maybe even uh, oh god, what was it? Uh, full throttle or whatever, you know. Um, but yeah, you could absolutely turn turn some of your art into great uh, eight bit, sixteen bit pixel art and uh, uh, translate that into a game or whatever it is you want. Uh, it's super fun to do this. It, it is a retro thing, and I, I'm all about that. I, I like that kind of stuff. So, uh, again, if you guys have any other questions uh, around this, put it in the comments. Uh, if you would, like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to try doing more of these. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of people, are my viewer rate, uh, viewership going up on this. I guess people love seeing this kind of stuff and seeing the workflow that I have on some of these things. So, again, if you have suggestions, put them in the comments. I'll respond to them and uh, potentially create some videos. These are pretty easy to make. I know they're not flashy. They're not, I'm not doing some sort of, some sort of uh, f you know, cool intro. Maybe I'll do that later. But, um, yeah, I'd love to hear back from you. Anyway. I uh, appreciate it, and we'll talk to you later.